Sydney, Australia. Darling Harbour. There's a place in Sydney, Australia, Darling Harbour, called the Chinese Garden of Friendship. It's a Chinese garden, obviously, of friendship. And you go there, preferably with a friend. And you walk around this Chinese garden of friendship, and it's got lots of beautiful plants and trees and koi carp swimming around, and it's very nice. And there was, at the time I went, eight years ago, it was about $5. For an extra $5, you could walk around the Chinese garden of friendship dressed as a Chinese person. I'll let you soak that one in. Now, I looked at that and I thought, somehow, I don't think I'm going to pass. But I'm going to give it a go. I was like, bring forth the Chinese outfit. I want to dress as a Chinese person. And they brought out the outfit, and this is where the racism went up another notch. They brought out the outfit, it was a kimono. Twelve of you got that. Well done, Brixton. For the rest of you who didn't do geography at school. Kimono is Japanese! Chinese guard the friendship, Japanese outfit. Australians don't give a shit. They're like, ah, fuck it, no, real, no, this still look the same, don't they? No, real, fuck it, no, this, whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'll give you other examples of Australian racism. Uh, I could not get a taxi in Sydney, Australia, outside my hotel in Sydney, trying to get a taxi, and all these taxis are driving past me, and they've all got their lights on, but none of them are stopping. The one particular taxi drives past me and stops 100 metres up the road for a white woman, and I was like... No, he never. <laughs> and I ran to the taxi. Now, I had no issue with the woman getting in the taxi. I wanted to talk to the taxi driver. But poor white woman sees black woman running towards her at night. <laughs> she was like, ah! And she clutches her purse to her chest and she's gone, she's, right, she's gone into the night. She was so fast, I was like, wow, are there white people in Kenya? This woman's got to be Kenyan, she's so fast. <laughs> so I took that taxi, it was a shame to waste it. And I got in, I said to the taxi driver, you saw me, you saw me standing and you drove past me and you stopped for somebody else, why'd you do that? And he was like, nah, listen, mate, nah, what it is, mate, nah, listen, mate, nah, what it is, what it is, mate, nah, what it is. It was dark. <laughs> I'm like, what? He goes, nah, 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 not that, not that, mate, nah. It was dark, and I thought you was an airbow. <laughs> I was like, what? I thought he was an aborigine, mate. I thought he was an aborigine. And I was like, you should have left it, at, it was dark, mate, you should have left it there. I said, like, what, why? why, why don't you stop for Aborigines? He's like, well, I don't stop for Aborigines, because what happens, they get in my cab, they get in my cab, and they, they take me round in circles. They take me round in circles, and get me all lost and shit. And then they take me to an area that I don't know, and then they jump out the cab, they run. They don't pay their fares. They run, they jump out the cab, and that's why I don't stop for Aborigines. And I was like, all right, so have you, uh, have you picked up every single Aborigine in Australia? And he's like, nah, nah. So I was like, right, so you're judging an entire race of people based on the behavior of a few. And he was like, yeah, that's about right, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, well, do you realise if a white guy jumps out of your cab tomorrow, your business is fucked? <laughs> and he was like, oh, yeah, shit, yeah, right, you're, you're right, black girl, fuck, yeah, shit, yeah. <laughs> and you know what, he was humbled by that, he was humbled. And so he took me to where I was going, and it was a victory, he took me to where I was going, yeah, he did. And, uh, and when we got there, I ran away, I did. Uh, <laughs> But that was to teach him a lesson. 
It's not just Aborigines. Uh, <laughs> Australia, nice, nice, Australia, Australia. I couldn't live there though, couldn't live there. 